Hello, this is Alejandra with Cisco Tech. When you contact Cisco Technical Support for help with a problem that you are having with emergency responder, Cisco might request that you collect trace and debug information. In this video, I will show you how to enable and collect these logs. Please notice that detailed tracing and debugging is not enabled by default in CER. Therefore, before reproducing an issue or a specific behavior, it is required to set the accurate level of details for traces and debugs. Additionally, because collecting trace and debug information affects CR performance, you should only turn on tracing and debugging at Cisco's request. This procedure applies for any version of CER and the first action would be to access to the server graphic user interface. Navigate to Cisco ER administration webpage. Click on System and then Server Settings. In the Debug Package List section, click Select All. In the Trace Package List section, select All. Click Update Settings to save the changes. If logs from the CER subscriber are required, select Subscriber Standby and repeat previous steps. Once that logs are enabled, it is possible to reproduce the issue that is required to investigate, or leave the traces debox on. Now, in order to collect the logs from CER, it is required to navigate to Cisco ER Serviceability webpage system logs section. Depending on the specific set of traces that are required, the route to collect them may vary. In this example, CER phone tracking logs will be collected. So from System Logs, select CR Logs and then CR Phone Tracking Logs. Click the down arrow in the last modified column header. The log files are then sorted by date in descending order. Identify the files that cover the timestamp that is required and select the checkboxes to the left of each of the file names. If all the files required to get collected, select the first checkbox to select all. Once that required files are selected, click on download. These files will be saved in an individual zip file which should be saved on your computer. File collection is now complete. If logs from secondary server are required, same procedure will need to be performed from subscriber's web interface. Hope this information is useful. Thanks for watching.